Next up, XRP fans, here you go. Financial giant SBI to test XRP and 6.6 .6 trillion foreign exchange market. So first of all, I own XRP. I know I always say the whole, you know, like watch out in a quarter. And I think that's one of the reasons why I get, I get, I get dislikes on my channel because people who love XRP are like this jerk. And I don't blame you. You know, I, I don't blame you. But you got to remember, to me, as an investor, I'm kind of like, what have you done for me lately? What are you doing? Now, I know that people will say, well, they're making moves in the background. I was doing all these things. They're having meetings. That's great. That's great. But I invested this in 2017 when it was like $1.52. That was two seventy five dollars and three twenty five. dollars I remember buying around $3 because I really did believe that it was going to go up massively because of cross-border payments. And I, I understood the whole philosophy on-demand liquidity, fantastic. You don't have to have those Nostro Vostro accounts. It'll be great. They'll get in there with Ripple, with their software, with their messaging software. And then eventually the banks will just say, hey, we just need XRP. And that didn't really happen. But this right here, this article gives me, uh, like in Star Wars, a new hope. Because when I look at SBI and how big they are, they're a huge banking entity. And if they're going pretty much all in, if this doesn't work, I'm sorry to say, if this doesn't work, you can put a fork in XRP because there is nothing else that would make this actually move. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you think. I'm sure you're going to tell me. But here's the article. Japanese financial giant SBI Holdings is preparing to test the use of XRP in the foreign exchange market or FX. The pilot will utilize the crypto to execute cross-border currency swaps, according to the financial outlet Nikki, Nikkei, whatever it wants to say. And here's the thing. This is exactly what XRP is for. When I do my little education videos here um, and I want to do something rapidly, it's always XRP or Stellar because they are by far the fastest. Ethereum works pretty well when there's not a lot of things going on. Like yesterday, it kind of sucked because everybody was getting all their, uh, you know, 32 Ethereum in so they could be validators, which I'm not going to do. So XRP and Stellar are super fast. I, I can I can never say anything negative about that because that is uh, totally true. They are super fast. So when they're going to do all these tests, I think that it'll actually work out. But here's what they're trying to do. The test itself is to determine whether XRP can be used as a bridge asset to lower the risk of price fluctuations that can occur as one currency is traded for another, as well as determine potential savings on fees associated with the transfer. So right now, if you do a wire transfer with Swift uh, cross country, uh, you're paying a boatload and you're waiting a long time. So I don't see how this could not work. Uh, XRP is super fast and it is super cheap. So maybe this is what they're talking about flipping the switch. Again, if this doesn't work, that's it. Also trading the global FX markets reached reaches 6.6 .6 trillion per day in April of 2019. 6.6 .6 trillion, a lot, that's a lot. Foreign exchange swap volumes are estimated to account for approximately half of the XRP FX market. So there's a lot of room to grow here. Ripple and SBI are longtime partners. I think people know about that, but if you don't, that's the truth. And SBI invested in the San Francisco-based payments company back in 2016. So in 2016, they go, this is a great thing. We like Ripple. We like what's going on. XRP, eh, maybe we'll get to it. And then four years later, here we are. So the question to me is like, why did you drag your feet? I'm sure there's a lot of things that have to, have to do with infrastructure and get everything right and correct. But uh, you know, hopefully this is the right time for uh, Ripple and XRP. Anyhow, SBI is currently using Ripple's payment messaging system. Again, Ripple is a software company, kind of like how Swift works with, you know, wire transfer and everything else. That's what they do. It's a messaging system, uh, which is not based on XRP to power its settlement platform, MoneyTap. So again, they started off with Ripple. Now they're going to go into XRP. They started with level one. Now they're going to go all the way to level 10. And that's really what I thought was going to happen back in 2017, and for some reason it didn't. So this, like again, I think this could be a great thing. The company also, and they're talking about SBI, allows shareholders to receive dividends in XRP and gives gamers on its esports team the option to receive their salaries in the digital asset. So again, um, they're pretty big believers into it. I mean, they're giving their shareholders, they're giving their team members. I mean, it seems like they're really on board. So we'll see how it all works out. If there is massive money savings that SBI reports, and they talk about how, you know, it, it increases customer satisfaction and it reduces the time to actually transmit payments, you're going to see some fireworks here. And this could be a, a big thing. And then whenever I was telling me, Rob, you got to sell your XRP and get into, you know, whatever, Wi-Fi, something crazy. I'm like, nope. I'm just too stubborn. 
I'm just too stubborn. And uh, maybe, maybe stubbornness might pay off. We will see. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on.